Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will learn about how to write a recursive function to print reverse of a linked list. In other words, we will be given a linked list and we have to write a recursive function which will take the head node of the linked list as an argument and print the entire list in reverse order. For example, if the input linked list in is in the order 1, 2, 3, 4, then the output linked list will be in the order 4, 3, 2, 1. Let us now look at the pseudocode of the function. As you can see, the name of the function is print reverse and it is taking the head node of the linked list as an argument. It then checks whether this node is null or not. If this node is null, then it will return its control. And if this node is not null, it will invoke itself by passing the next node as an argument. And finally, it will print the data of this node. Let us now look at step by step explanation on how this pseudocode is working. Consider a sample linked list which contains 4 nodes and are in the order 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this linked list, currently the head node is pointing to the first node. The function print reverse is invoked by passing the head node as an argument. It then checks whether the head node that is the first node is null or not. As this is not null, so it invokes itself by passing the next node as argument, that is the second node as an argument. Then it checks again whether this node is null or not. As this node is not null, it again invokes itself by passing the third node as argument. This process continues until we reach the fourth node. What happens after reaching the last node? After reaching the last node, the function again checks whether this node is null or not. As this node is not null, the function again invokes itself by passing the next of the last node as an argument. As the next of the last node is null, the control is returned back again to the function where the node is pointing to the last node. The function will now print the value or data of the last node and return control back to the calling function. That is now the control is at the function where the node is pointing to the third node. This function will now print the data of the third node and the control is returned back again. This process continues and we will get the reverse print of the linked list. Let us now understand this by the help of a diagram. This diagram explains all the recursive calls of the function. Firstly, the function print reverse is invoked by passing the head node as the argument. As this node is not null, the function is invoked again by passing the second node, that is the next of the head node as an argument. As this node is not null, the function is invoked again by passing third node as an argument. This process continues until we reach the fourth node. After reaching the fourth node, the function is invoked again by passing null as argument, as the next of the last node, that is fourth node, is null. As this node is null, the control is returned back again to the function where the node is pointing to the fourth node. This function will now print the data of the fourth node, that is 4, and the control is returned back again to the calling function where the function is pointing to the node third. This function will now print the data of the third node, that is 3, and the control is returned back again. In this manner, we will get the reverse print of the linked list. Let us now understand the program code of this recursive function. 
as this function does not return any value so the return type of the function is void this function is taking a node as an argument it then checks whether the node is null or not this is the base case for the recursion if the node is null the control will return from this function otherwise the function will invoke itself by passing the next node of this node as argument when the control is returned back again to this function it will print the data of the current node thank you for watching please leave us a